Okay, kembali bersama dengan Tira di www.mysuarafm.com Jadi kepada anda yang uh, mengikuti uh, saya sejak daripada jam 12 tengah hari tadi uh, Pada jam 2.30 petang ini uh, Kita akan bersama dengan uh, seorang tetamu istimewa di konti Mysuara FM Dan anda juga boleh saksikan kami secara live menerusi Facebook live uh, macam mana caranya kejap lagi saya akan sharekan uh, di wall saya di Facebook jadi anda boleh saksikan uh, di konti kami and uh, today uh, saya kena English eh hari ni uh, bersama dengan uh, tetamu uh, My Suara FM uh, kita akan bersama dengan Maimunah Hamid Abdul Majid uh, merupakan uh, seorang uh, daripada Yaman uh, dan uh, insyaAllah hari ini beliau akan berkongsi dengan kita berkenaan dengan um, kehidupan di Yaman bagaimana uh, beliau struggle untuk mendapatkan kehidupan yang baik dan uh, kini beliau sudah pun uh, berada di Malaysia dan apakah perancangan beliau seterusnya uh, selepas ini jadi uh, pastikan anda tidak ke mana-mana dan terus bersama dengan kami di www.mysuarafm dot com. Uh, well, I'm. Thank you for coming to our Conti, Maimuna. Thank you, Zahira. <laughs> no, it's okay. Don't worry. <laughs> She is nervous, actually. <laughs> okay. Um, maybe you can share with uh, our listeners a little bit about yourself. Uh, my name is uh, Maimuna Hamid. I am a uh, twenty-six years old. By the way, my birthday in the four four August. I think for after nine days. I think, okay. Uh, I'm married. Uh, I have a son. I'm from Yemen. I have one sister and my my one brother. They are in Yemen. But um, I'm graduate from uh, from uh, laboratory uh, laboratory institute. Is it in um, Yemen? Yeah, in Yemen. In uh, which course? What course do you take? Diplom. 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 Diploma. Dib- yeah, yeah, diploma. Yeah, diploma. Diploma. Mm-hmm. Yes. Diploma in? In laboratory. La- uh, laboratory. Laboratory. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, my Muna, uh, you maybe you can share with us a bit about your life in Yemen before you come to Malaysia. Yeah, you know. It was a good life. I was like I was like any girl. I was I went to st- I went to, I was study, and and I went to study English. Yes, I st- uh, studied English uh, in uh, an institute. Its name is the Mali Institute. It was the wonder, the wonderful life. That's why. Like, Uh, be, be, before the war mm-hmm. I mean before the war yes yeah, so it was mm-hmm. good life and very quiet my life it was, it was very very quiet but as you know uh, after the war everything is different, different. Mm-hmm. yes everything is different no safety we can't uh, well we can't live like the, the other people you know what um we was uh, it was very safety for us we we was have uh, a pl- pl- planning pl- for our life when we get ma- married me and my husband we we was carry a lot of dreams for our life but when the war is coming everything is Di- is different for us everything i think now i live new life but it's this life it's not my life everything is different from me maybe you can share with us what is your dream and your husband's dream we was uh, we was dreaming about we we want small house for us we want stable life we want jobs you know jobs as any family we want uh He wants to finish his uh, his study uh, master because he is graduate from from Saudi Arabia. He went to Saudi Arabia to to study um, baccalaureate. Baccalaureate, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. I 
after that, he came to Yemen and we get married. And he said, oh, I want to finish my, my study master. And we were dreaming to, uh, to, to, tra- to travel to, uh, to Europe. Mm-hmm. Before, be- all this before the war. And when, wh- when, when is the war started? Uh, it started uh, before, I think, three years. Three years. Uh, yes, three years, years in back. Three years back. Yes, three years. Or, yeah. No, uh, in, yes, three years. Three I years. Think, yes. So, uh, when the war is starting, it was very, very bad days for us because no safety no uh no food no water no electricity everything and the people they everyone ran away they don't they, they don't know how, where they will go after that so it was bad life and um, the the people that like we call the houthiun mm-hmm. houthiun they comes to our uh, they comes from from sanaa the, the capital Mm-hmm, the capital country, from country yeah. yeah Yemen. They come to uh to Aden mm-hmm. because Aden is very important area on in the um uh, in the world if you know mm-hmm. because um, there is a seaport mm-hmm. very important seaport. So they want everything in Aden, okay? So they they are coming to uh, to Aden. And kill the people and like animals, they come to uh, to us like animals. So we are, we are, you know, when when you so su- su- surprised, uh, yani s- someone, you know, you 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 know him from many years. After that, you uh, you you discover that he is a. Uh, a uh, Soldier, if you know, soldier, and he, he want to uh, to kill me. I think, uh, I think these people is that your friend? like is like a zombie. If you know, <laughs> you know him. No, not all. But my my husband knows some people, and my my neighbors know some people from them, and we were surprised from this. So when the the the, the war is starting. Is starting. They comes to us, and uh, my 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 family, my father and mother, they was in an area we called a crater. They was in crater, and they comes and bombs and every they kill everything. So after that, they escaped to my house because my house is so far from this area. And they come from uh, to my house. After that, my 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 uh, my uncle is call, calling us, but they um they bombs the the house, and they also come to my house. And also my 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 husband's uh, my husband's uncle come to our house because my house is was big. Mm-hmm. So I was pregnant. With my son, mm-hmm. so uh, they they come to us, and we was four families in one apartment. So after that, we go. We went to Hadramaut. Uh, we went to Hadramaut. We was very, very scared. Okay, very worried. Very. Uh, after that, we went to yes, we went to Hadramaut. So back in Yemen, <coughs> whenever the the war is started, yeah. what is the most um, valuable experience that you had back at that time? Uh, from the from the war. Yeah. From the war, I teach the the patient about everything. We get patient. And we was um, we become uh, I think uh, I pardon, I becomes very bigger from my age. Mm-hmm. 
you I are, you now you your age twenty at twenty six twenty six okay yes but uh, I feel I am to a twenty uh, I feel I am thirty six not twenty six you know because um, I I meet uh, some uh, some things it uh, becomes me bigger than my age. You know, you are more mature than your age. Yes, more my more, more mature, my age. So that um, I lost, I lost some some years from my eye, from my from my life. I lost. Do you know when you well, when you leave your friends, your neighbors, your family? It's, it was very very difficult moments. When I leave my mother and father in Aden, when I and I went to Hadrami. Because you are because married, then you have yes, to. Yes, I have to follow my husband. It was very, very difficult moment. Oh, we well, we all was crying, and also my my neighbors were was uh, was crying about me because uh. I I can you know when someone cho- uh, you you are, so when someone ask you to choose if you, if you want your husband of or if you want your mother or father it's very difficult for me it was very difficult I, I was crying all the all the way so it was very bad I want to remember that this moment Okay, never mind. We will rest a bit. So, uh, lepas ni anda semua akan kembali bersama dengan uh, saya dan juga tetamu kita uh, pada minggu ini. Kita dengarkan lagu ini daripada uh, Ellie Cat, Sekuntum Mawar Merah, sebuah puisi. Maizuara FM, Citra Generasi Informatif. Okey kembali bersama dengan Tira di www.mysuarafm.com uh, dan anda kembali bersama dengan saya di dalam patah sayap bertongkak paruh dan uh, program kita pada hari ini ditajuk oleh Bunga Tanjung uh, kecantikan sepanjang zaman dan uh, bersama dengan saya uh, kita bersama dengan Maimunah Hamid Abdul Majid uh, seorang daripada Yaman dan uh, beliau sedang berkongsikan dengan uh, pendengar Mysuara FM uh, kisah di Yaman dan juga kisah beliau sendiri. Jadi uh, kita nak buang masa, kita akan terus uh, bersama dengan uh, tetamu kita di Konti My Suara FM. Um, Maimunah, what is uh, the the memory, the good memory you had back in Yemen? My family and friends. Your family and friends. Yes. Maybe you can share with us what is the most um that you remember about them but about um i remember everything with them because i i miss my father as you know i want to stay with my mother <laughs> with my mother and father because uh, i miss to to listen to my my father and talking with him and with my mother and to shouting with my my with my brother and sister i was to my house we would stay together and we was play together watching tv together and the movies i miss to my my friend we we were we was uh, we would stay together So I missed a lot of of this for everything, for everything. Else. I don't want anything. Just I want to stay with my family for the stable life. Just what I want. I don't want anything else. because you know my mother every day she called me from your mom. Yeah, from your mom. She called me to talk to my son. She always say it. She always say that. I miss you and I miss you, my own son. Because I miss you everything. 
I went to hug my friend. I gave. Do you have any planning to go back to Yemen? If I come back to Yemen? Do you have any planning? No, because uh, Yemen now is not safety. Mm-hmm. No, Yemen is not safety. We can do anything. Because my, my husband, he, uh, he doesn't have a job there. Because he was working in um, in private uh, private job. He was has private job in mobile shop. Mm-hmm. Yes. So when we come to Malaysia, he is lost his uh, his job. And he, have you he, ever been trying to work in Malaysia? I want to, but you yeah. cannot. I cannot because it's uh, it's not allowed for us to uh, to work. So we meet a lot of of uh, difficult of difficult uh, to get job or to get stable life because as uh, you know Malaysia uh, it's ru- the rules is very difficult here so I don't know what I will do just I live my life I don't know what I will do if I come back to Yemen as you know this is uh, there is a uh, rules in eleven, in uh, in eleven month in December, they want to us to come back to our country. So this is very difficult for us. This decides decided is very difficult for us, but we don't know what we will do. I think it's just I am waiting. <laughs> just so, what is your everyday doing like? You stay in Malaysia. What are you doing? You just stay at home? All the time you are at home. All the time. As you know, I think Malaysia is very, uh, is very expensive for us. It's very if you want to go out, you should to, to take this in your mind. You should to have a lot of money to go out. If I want to pay some, some, something for my son, I'm just I'm thinking about my son. I just I'm thinking to give him his milk and his anything he wants because I think the life here is very difficult for us. So I want I want to work here, but I can't because this that's very difficult because we have a tourist visa. We can't get a. Uh, we we ask for get a residency, like, but it's very difficult. They say it's very difficult for us. You know, we you we come here for you know um, my father-in-law, his father is from Malaysia. For that, we are coming here. We are coming to get our our citizen, for our. So they said that is very difficult. Because you should to bring the 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 per day certificate. Okay. Uh, have day. you ever been to uh, UN? My father-in-law went to UN, but UN it, it didn't do anything. Um. What do you mean? It didn't do anything. It didn't do anything for us. Just you go, and uh, and uh, go and sign. Your name and but they they say after two years you can go to Europe or any country after two years. So so I don't know in these two years what we will do. That they can't find anything for us. They can't g- give us anything. You know um, because the life here. It's very difficult for us. We want something to life. We want something to life. We want, we want just some. Sometimes we need some our like a requirement. If you know, just we need some small of this. Not somehow uh, or for example house, job, to stay. Just to feel we are humans. But 
you in? I think it didn't do anything for us. Have you ever been to UN? Is it my father go when me? No. You know, uh, maybe uh, why not after this you try to go to UN and you try to get the solution from them? We went before and they say uh, come when well, when your visa is finished. Mm -hmm. So your visa now, it's only left for how many months? Five months. Five months. Yeah, five months. After and after that, then you go to UN? No, after that, Ma there is some uh, some rules in Malaysia. We should took him to go out from Malaysia after five months. We should to go out for how long? Five months in December. We should to go after go out. Then, if you go out to out of uh, out from Malaysia, then it will be how long? One w one day, two days? No, no, no. So we should come. Uh, we we should to come back to our country. Yeah, you have to go back yeah, to Yemen. Go back to Yemen. So we are waiting here for our for our citizen. But we get a lot of of problems in our citizen. That <laughs> my father, my father-in-law. Yeah, his father is from Malaysia. We give him all, all the, all the papers and all that the atta the attachment documents, documents everything. everything. They said no. We want well, yeah, that's okay. But we want a uh, birthday certificate. We don't have birthday certificate because they have the the birthday certificate. So they say oh, sorry. We may, maybe we are lost this. So you can't get that the, the citizen without this. I think the doors is closed. <laughs> okay, and they finished everything for us. So what is your <coughs> planning for now? Do you have any planning um, for now? No, I'm thinking to travel to Europe, uh, Sweden, because I have a relative. My relatives, they they told me we can help you. We can find anything for you you want. We can get you stable life. Are they work there? Yes, they are work and they have house, houses. We are the citizen of Sweden. Yes, they have. Sweden. They are from Yemen. Yes, they are then from Yemen, and they they went to to, to Sweden before. I think. Uh, Ten years or maybe more than this. Mm -hmm. uh, now they are they are Sweden. Mm -hmm. Now they have citizen Sweden. Sweden. So are they? Um, if let's say from Malaysia you want to go to Sweden, are they allow you your country? Because uh, uh, just now you said you have to go back to Yemen, isn't it? Yeah, mm -hmm. but we, but we, well, we don't want to come back to Yemen. And then how 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 are you gonna travel to? No, we well, we are try to travel there because maybe someone can do for you inv invitation for you to come. So I don't know why how I mean how we will go there. I think it's it's very difficult for us now because uh, our our passport it uh, we we are, we can't go without visa. We can't go. Sweden without visa from the Sweden government. So we are waiting now for that. Maybe Allah can help us. Maybe Allah will help us. Because some people can go. Some people, they can go. They get an uh, inv invitation from their uh, relatives and they went to Sweden. Some people can go there. What is your ambition? What? Your ambition. Ambition? Like, when you were a kid, who do you want to be? I was, uh, I want to be a doctor. I want to, to because I like this. Because I can, uh, so I want, because, uh, you know, when I was a child, all, uh, all my,
my toys. It was about the doctor and everything about the doctor. So I want to be a doctor. I, I, and I like to stay at, uh, in the hospital. I, I, I like to, 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 to take care about the other people. I love the, the I love to take care to our, to the, to take care about the, the people, to help the people. I like that. But I was, I was, I was, I was to be, yeah, I want to be a doctor. Then I, I yes, no, now I'm a doctor, but I, after the war, everything is finished. So you are a doctor before? Yeah, I want to be a doctor. I studied the laboratory. But after, but after the war, everything is different. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <coughs> but now I, I, ha I have a certificate. Certificate about mm -hmm. so okay, but never mind. We will rest for a bit. So, anda semua yang tengah dengarkan My Suara FM, uh, terus dengarkan kami melalui www.mysuarafm.com dan juga anda boleh saksikan kami secara live menerusi My Suara FM Radio Fan Page. Jadi pastikan anda tidak ke mana-mana dan terus dengarkan kami melalui My Suara FM. Kita dengarkan Justin Bieber, Baby. Uh, lagu ini permintaan daripada uh, tetamu kita pada petang ni. Jadi uh, semoga anda semua terhibur. Okey. Okey, kembali bersama dengan Tira di www.mysuarafm.com dan anda bersama dengan saya lagi ketika ini bersama dengan tetamu kita Maimunah Hamid Abdul Majid uh, di dalam patah sayap bertongkak paruh. Dan uh, untuk makluman semua, memang rancang kita hari ini uh, interviewer uh, apa interview ni di dalam Uh, bahasa Inggeris kerana uh, tetamu kita tidak dapat uh, bercakap dalam bahasa Melayu Jadi saya harap yang mana jika anda punya sebarang persoalan Anda boleh uh, ajukan uh, di video yang ada saya kongsikan di fanpage My Suara FM Dan juga di Facebook uh, saya sendiri Jadi kita akan terus bersama dengan uh, tetamu kita uh, Di dalam segmen yang terakhir untuk patah sayap bertongkat paruh Okey, um, <coughs> Maimunah What is your uh, just now? You just said uh, that you wanted to go to Sweden because you have a relative there. Yeah. So, if you have the chance to go there, if there is no problem for you to go to Sweden, yeah. what will you do in Sweden? If uh, I want to work, I want to uh, to to get work for me and for my husband. I want to my son to go and study. Uh, I want stable life there. I want stable. Life. Maybe if I if I have chance to to study, I will I will complete my study. So for that, I want to go to there. I think um, I want to go to Europe because that was my dream from. When I was a child, I went go to Europe. I like to live stay. As you know, my 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 mother and father they was in uh, in Russia. Russia, Russian, yes. Mm -hmm. They study there. Mm -hmm. When I saw the 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 pictures, I said, oh, I want I want to uh, to get there. I want to go to Europe. <laughs> <laughs> I like the life there. So everyone go there. They say, yeah, the life is very, yeah, it's very simple. The uh, the people is very simple, and you can you can study, you can get job, you you know shortly you can you you can do your dreams, as you know. And if I say you cannot go to the Sweden, then you have to stay in Malaysia. What will you do? What will you do in Malaysia if, if let's say you cannot go to uh, Sweden? I'll come back to Yemen. You have to go back to Yemen yeah. by end of this year. I think here, here the life is very difficult for us here because you know where when you stay in place, you can't get anything you want. You. As you know, we are family. We we have to to get some um, some this uh, this um, what you call it privacy Res responsible. 
a responsibility. We have yeah. responsible about our son for our son. We have a son. We are not alone. So my son, he needs for any for 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 life. He needs to live like any child, like any sons. Oh, he needs to study. So the study here is very is very expensive. I can't send him to study. But in Yemen, it's our country for everything. It's our country. So when you when the clo well, when the doors is closed in front of you. So you you are uh, you will come back to your home. You will come back to your home. You you will say yes. I will come back to my home because that's my home. For everything, that's my home. Where I will go, where no one want. That well, when you feel no one want you, that well, no one want you. What is you the most thing you love about Yemen? The most thing I like the sea. I like because, because in I Kuala Lumpur like there is no sea. No sea. <laughs> for, my, uh, for in Yemen, we always go to the sea. I love, I love the sea. So we have a lot of of uh, history. You know, uh, the the tourists come to to our country a lot of tourists come to our country to to discover our host, our history because we have a lot we have big history in yemen so yemen i think now it's it's different it's changed yemen now is changed when when someone know you are from Yemen, he said, "Oh, you you are coming from the where, you know." He say, "You are coming from the where." They they feel we well, we are like to tourists. You know the tourists. We are not like this. We you know, um, Muhammad uh, the 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 Prophet Muhammad say. Uh, it means we well, our uh, our heart uh, our heart is very um, is very I don't know you know why uh, our heart is very weak. Mm-hmm. Our heart is very weak. Yeah, it's very weak. We are we 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 crying for everything. We love our peoples. We can't live anywhere. The Yemen, the Yemeni people, we can live anywhere with any people, because in our country the the, the, the tourists come to us and stay with us, and we we meet a lot of different nationalities. We live with with Indian people, with uh, and with people from Somal, from Djibouti, and from anywhere from all the world they come to stay in Yemen. Before the war, but now everybody escaped from Yemen. And also y- Yemeni. <coughs> and then, um, by the time your visa is uh, finished, uh, in another five months, is it? Yeah. And then you have to go back to Yemen to get the visa, or maybe you have to go to other country to get the visa, or s- how? May- may- maybe we can go to another country and come back to Malaysia. Like you know, I don't know. I don't know. Because I heard the, uh, in Yemen there is no functional government there. Yes, no, no functional. What so What is the motto of your life? What What you always say to your life about everything? What I want to say. Your your principle. What is your principle? You know, like me, I I always uh put uh bear in my mind is dream, believe, make it happen. Like you, I believe for Allah. You believe for Allah. For Allah, because always when I pray, I always pray for pray for Allah and and I ask Him to 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 
to to help me for everything. So I'm a, I believe a lot to help me, and I'm so I'm so. Uh, I thought Allah he will help me for everything. So that's it. What will you say to other people who listen to us now? I s- I t- I tell him I will tell him to believe in Allah, believe because Allah cr- created us, and He can do everything for us. And I think be patient and be strong. No one can, no one can break break your break you. Or backing you, no one can be strong for everything happen. And looking for your dreams, and working, walk to your dreams. Don't give up. <laughs> yeah, and, and I mean, I hope I'm you not. also. I hope you also don't give up for yeah. whatever situation you have right now, yes. you are having right now. And I hope our listeners also. <coughs> understand to believe in Allah. Yeah. To not give up and inshallah everything inshallah. will be fine. Inshallah. I pray for your happiness. Inshallah. And may Allah is everything for you. You know when when you when, when you know is Allah or Allah will help you and he is listen to you. The, that thing is make me happy and I feel re- relaxed. I, s- I feel relaxed about anything happen. I don't care about anything happen if Allah with me. For that, I feel relaxed. I'm not worried. I'm not. It's okay. Anything it will happen, it's okay for me. Okay, thank you for coming to our Conti for today. And thank you for your sharing, Amit. I hope there's our listener outside at least open their eyes, open their heart to be to help you and your family, inshallah. And uh, saya tira, tutup tirai uh, patah sayap bertongkat paruh untuk petang ini, Rabu 26 Julai 2017. Dan insyaAllah kita akan berjumpa uh, semula untuk patah sayap pada hari Rabu depan, uh, jam yang sama, 2.30 petang. Dan uh, hari Rabu, eh, hari Jumat ini jangan lupa saya bersama dengan Jacqueline untuk slot pemaisuri. Jadi pastikan anda bersama dengan kami di www.mysuarafm.com. Kita dengarkan lagu ini daripada Indigo. Andai kau pergi. Mysuarafm, Citra Generasi Informatif. <Sing>